Hey, what's up, guys? I want to talk about this burst of gravitational waves that hit planet Earth back on the 14th. And I want to show you guys some observations from around the world that occurred just before these mysterious gravitational waves impacted the planet, not only the planet, but the entire solar system, that right now astronomers have no clue where they originated from. Story here from LiveScience.com. Also a story over here from FoxNews.com. Talking about the same phenomena. Gravitational waves hit the Earth, baffling astronomers. A mysterious deep space event could have stretched and squeezed Earth last week. Astronomers observed a split-second burst of gravitational waves on January the 14th, but can't figure out precisely where the bursts came from. I want to go to the website. We're going to check out the Schumann resonance. This is something we always pay close attention to. You can see right now it's pretty calm. But if we go back to that time frame, just after the mysterious burst of gravitational waves, you can see here there's no data available late on the 14th going into the 15th, all of the 15th, and going into the 16th. No data right after the strange gravitational wave anomaly that impacted the entire planet. Well, some things I want to show you that have been sent in, mystery sky waves, we've got some other anomalies that have occurred, like I said earlier, before, during, and after these strange gravitational waves. Susie from near London over in the United Kingdom. Once again, we're seeing this massive blanket. They look like waves up in the sky now. And what they remind me of, in a way, are these mysterious gravity waves that they're showing emanating from a neutron star. See the waves going through the cosmos? Well, it looks like the same, and I know that's just a artist's rendition, but they look very similar to the waves that we're seeing up in the sky, almost like the atmosphere is mimicking maybe what it feels. Look at that! big old huge wave up in the sky that there's a very sharp contrast bef between thick clouds and blue sky. And I've even heard meteorologists say they do not know exactly what causes this phenomena. Well, here's a great example from over in London, sent in by Susie. Um, also got a uh, photograph or two sent in who noticed the same phenomenon. Um, we've seen this back in 2018. Um, it was very profound, seen from, I think it was the Netherlands and it looked like it was even visible on Google Earth spanning the entire globe. Well if they were responding to gravity waves that expanded across the entire solar system you know it would be pretty easily explainable but we still don't know the origin of these or the origin of the gravity waves. But they're highly coincidental that this occurred during that huge event or shortly thereafter the atmosphere is reacting in ways that, like I said, we've seen before, but not very often. Paul P. from West Sussex, United Kingdom, seeing the same thing. He saw the same clouds, took out his camera and took some pictures, just like Susie did. They were very compelled to photograph this very unusual sky. Southeast North Dakota, on the exact day, January the 14th, you can see a huge wall, looks like a big tsunami wave in the sky over in South, this is in North Dakota, looking southeast from North Dakota, sent in by Rose Bud's Hat, and again, we're seeing that same type of phenomena in the sky, and this occurred on the day of the gravitational wave impacting the planet. Look at that, it looks like a huge tsunami. Incredible. San Marcos, Texas, Lewis M. Noticed a big anomaly up in the sky. Looks like a big circle, like possibly some sort of a invisible energy wave going through the sky. Back over to London, January the 20th, Steve, was up on a roof, got down, went to his truck, got his camera, and took a picture of this very unusual perfect, I mean nearly perfect circle up in the sky. I mean there's a lot of unusual things going on in the skies around uh, planet Earth. If you're looking up, here's a inverted version, black and white basically, and there's the circle. You can actually see it a little better. Nearly perfect, don't know the origin of that either. Glasgow, Scotland, Brian, 
right after the gravitational waves impacted the planet. And you can see how the skies were reacting up in Skyland. I'm not saying that this hasn't possibly happened before, but these are some very profound roll clouds in the sky. January 14th, once again, Jennifer from Lompoc, California. You can see a stretch of roll clouds that extend for miles that she noticed that are nearly sitting on the ground. And once again, this occurred on the day of the gravitational wave anomaly that occurred on the 14th. Wendy from Long Beach, California. This here is a very unique coincidence that I happened to notice another viewer from another state noticed this same unique feature in the sky. Check this out. Wendy's One Heart World from Long Beach, California, sends me this photo of what looks like a rope in the sky. And this occurred like back on the 19th. Betsy Lewis from Las Vegas, Nevada, noticed the same thing on the 19th, what looks like a long rope in the sky. So apparently this was visible from the coast over near Long Beach, California, all the way over to Las Vegas, Nevada. There they are side by side, and they are identical, about the same exact height off the ground. Just an incredible observation by two different people in two different states that saw the same anomaly in the sky. Prior to that, we saw the anomaly in the Schumann resonance. There was no data right after the gravitational wave impact on planet Earth. 48 hours before the mysterious waves, we saw a volcano down in the Philippines throw an absolute fit just out of nowhere. This was on the 12th. And then on the 14th, saw those gravitational waves. So coincidence, I kind of think not. Um, I do think maybe this had something to do with what we just saw in the skies around planet Earth. And I wanted to share those with you guys. Very good observations. Got some more sky phenomena photos I want to share with you guys. But first, I put up a picture the other day from uh, Beck out of Brisbane, Australia. And the photo was actually taken by Gino. So Gino, I want to apologize. This is Gino's photo. So please accept my humble apologies, Gino. Uh, great photograph. Keep them coming, buddy. Jason out of Alberta, Canada. Another long roll cloud. Steve from London. This is another view of that perfect circle in the sky. I want to pause it here for just a second. This gets kind of kind of weird. Uh, several people in different locations had no idea that they were sending me pictures of basically the same type of anomaly up in the sky. And it's a big arrow. One's big, one's kind of a medium-sized one, and then one's rather small, but it's unde uh, but they're undeniable. Uh, little arrows in the sky. Lena from North Phoenix. This is kind of a bigger looking arrow. That's why she took the photo. Matt R. You've got a perfect arrow triangle shape right there in the sky. Actually kind of next to a circle. And you've got a circle around the sun and that's right after the gravity waves impacted the earth. I'm not saying that this has anything to do with it but here's another triangle arrow feature in the sky and that one was sent in by Mary Anno R. You can see it right there. And then Wendy, once again from Long Beach, California, noticed an arrow in the sky. Sent me two or three pictures of that. Um, and it hung around for a while. So multiple arrows in the sky for whatever reason. LKR from Anthem, Arizona. A couple of unique features in the sky that compelled him to take a photograph. Caroline from Seattle. Very bright orange cloud up in the sky above Seattle. Lucas R. out of Poland, bright orange sky, got some colorful clouds in the proximity of the sun. Once again, coming out of Poland from Lucas, I've got another video that Lucas shared with me, something very unique that you guys are going to enjoy. I'm still working on that. Charlie W. from Tennessee, more colorful clouds around the sun. Charlie, once again, out of Tennessee, pink and gray clouds in northeast Georgia. Misty Day K, got a big double-decker rainbow. Nick S. out of Tucson, Arizona, about as orange as you can get right there. Next to this one here from Maui, Hawaii, fiery orange sky sent in by Cat. And a big towering sunbeam, dark sunbeam coming up over the horizon. Gilbert C. out of Winder, Georgia, another double-decker rainbow. Katie, Texas, Jesse spectacular orange clouds in the sky there. Carlsbad, New Mexico, Robert F. Very colorful sky. 
Red River Valley, Sarah, got the sun plunging down into the horizon. And then we've also got a big halo around the sun as the sun's coming back up above the horizon. Charlene, got a wave of colorful clouds in the proximity of the sun. Pueblo, Colorado, Anthony M. Some sort of a very unique cloud here. I've never seen anything quite like that. Brisbane, Australia, Beck, fiery red sun behind the smoke down in Australia. Texas, Henning K. Some spectacular sun photos at the horizon. Most of these are sunrise you see from Henning out of the great state of Texas. This one here, the sun's tucked up behind the clouds. Mediterranean Sea out of Italy, Christine. Very uh, bright red and yellow sky. Robert M. out of Australia, very low hanging cloud during a storm they had down there recently that brought some much needed rain to the area. West Halifax, Vermont, Robin of some very low wavy clouds right after the gravitational wave event. Vinny out of the Netherlands, about as pink of a sky as I've ever seen. Mike out of Omaha, Nebraska, got these light pillars reaching up to the sky. That is usually caused by uh, ice crystals. Austin, Texas, Nick, gigantic uh, hole punch cloud. Nick once again got a hole punch cloud with a rainbow in it. And another one, hole punch cloud. Yvonne from Ohio with a, a rainbow in it. Kevin S. This here's a sun dog hanging around out here all by itself. Puerto Rico, Sig, noticed some space debris coming in over Puerto Rico just a couple of days ago. And caught a picture of it. He also has a video um, he's trying to send to me of this same event. A lot going on in the Puerto Rico area. Look at this very thick rainbow low to the ground. Once again, sent in by Sig out of Puerto Rico. Vanessa from southeast Nebraska. Some more unusual wavy clouds up in the sky. Mississippi sunrise. Photo sent in by Renee. Bright pink and purple sky. Bree S. out of New Orleans. Fiery sunrise. And sent in that photo wondering if that was normal. And it does seem like the new normal these days. These types of very bright orange and purples and pinks. Susanville, uh, Susanville California. Jennifer K. Wavy clouds once again. And then we've got some colorful clouds from Susanville. And then some cotton ball looking clouds that look like they're reaching down uh, almost on the ground. Bright orange. Just an incredible photograph coming out of Susanville, California. This photo was taken by Mark Stanford, sent in by Candace of a beautiful coastal wave view looking at the orange sky. London, United Kingdom, Susie S. Once again, you've got that long, wide blanket in the sky that looks like a wave. This was early in the morning as the sky was orange. And all of these were either before, during, or right after the unusual, mysterious burst of gravitational waves that impacted planet Earth back on the 14th. Found that very, very interesting. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. Sometimes I use the photos in a picture slideshow, just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.